you know, we were talking about Little Dirk a while ago, and uh, some of the interesting news that came out about him was that him and Spot em Got em were supposed to be doing a feature together. <laughs> and right when they, I, I believe uh, they paid him, the hundred, they paid Dirk the hundred grand for the feature, and right after that, it came out that Spot em Got em some paperwork came out about him that he was snitching and, you know, talking a little bit too much. And Dirk sent his money right back to him. Got to love it. He didn't want to do the feature. You got to love it. That's the definition of not selling out. You got to love it. You got to love it. Because there ain't nobody standing on that shit like how they supposed to be standing on it. Like, fuck them. 100,000, what the I, I'm not about to t be in a video with you. Like, where are we gonna shoot it at? We gonna have the police protecting us in protective custody while we in witness protection? Like, what, what, what are we doing? We not the same. I'm not reaching out to nobody that's talking to the police about getting shot. If you telling about getting at you and you claiming that you a street nigga, go get your lick back. And that's just that, go get your lick back. It, that, that's what you signed up for. You know what I'm saying? Caught him with the chopper, he had a standoff. Something, something, knock his head off. Where is that energy at? You got a whole motherfucking, the whole world bopping to you, talking about you kill niggas. You know what I'm saying? Draco make them beatbox and all that shit. Nigga, where is that same beatbox Draco at? You know what I'm saying? Go making beatbox. Like, what is you talking about? Like, hell no, nah, I can't respect it because me and Dirk, we come from the trenches. Like, we really, like, that's the difference. Motherfucker really grew up doing this. We ain't motherfucker didn't just, oh, pop a pill and learn how to rap and then start rapping crazy. Because half these motherfuckers get on some perks or some ecstasy and just get to talking like gangsters and nigga don't even know how to load a clip up. They damn self. You know what I'm saying? Don't know how to pop a gun apart, clean and do what they gotta do in order for that motherfucker get that motherfucker jam on them while they getting cracking. They wouldn't even know how to get back in, the, in, in motion. You get what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker, a nigga tired of vouching for niggas like that. And there shouldn't be no money in the world to make you mess with that nigga. So you gotta love him for doing that. You got to. Yeah, he could have easily hurry up and did the verse and sent him back and been like, I don't know nothing about no snitching. I ain't see. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have easily and copped ain't, out. And ain't no video coming out. Or I did the verse before he snitched. You get right. what I'm saying? He could have did whatever. Then uh, I heard Batman Kevo tried to get some money back from Gunner too. Batman Kevo, I don't know. I, I, I don't know him, so I can't speak on him, but he pretty fraud himself. I see Batman Kevo telling on the murder too. Let's get into that. Uh, you know, Batman Kevo paid Gunner 250K for a feature. You know, a month or two before the YSL case came out. And, uh, you know, they did the song. They did the video. They did everything. He got la locked up and it never came out. You know, they... Um, That's a month. What was you waiting on? They tried to perform with him. You was right. You should have dropped your shit before the paperwork came out. That's some dick riding that shit. Anyway, everything got the business handled. Why you didn't drop the video? <laughs> that's my whole shit like you can't ask for your money back because before he was a rat he did this you were holding on to the song like oh I'm not gonna drop it till he come home and I'm gonna perform it with him that's what she wasn't finna do you already got bapped upside your head once the motherfucker charge you that much for a feature it lets you know your relationship with him this is business gang I'm not taking you on tour with me and then who the fuck is listening to Bam Man Kevo who the fuck is listening to him? Like, sell your scammer stories and do what you do. Go get your BBL. Like, you are in the wrong. Like, you are just in there. Your whole play is in the wrong. I, but if he ain't never had no paperwork and he could still go to his hood, which I don't never see him in Chicago. Um, if he could go to his hood and he got his money together and he ain't never told on nobody, shout out Batman Kevo. I see Batman Kevo going out bad, too. It ain't nothing happened to him yet. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing happened to him yet. He'll probably tell on the nigga that robbed him for all that jury. 
for sure. If he had the option to, to claim his insurance, if he, if he would have to make a police report to uh, get his insurance money back for the chain, he's definitely giving your name up. 100%. 100%. I don't see Batman Kevin. I, uh, I'm telling you, I read people, man. So so you definitely think he's wrong for trying to get his money back? Because all the business was handled before he even ratted. It wasn't like he was a rat and holding it up under the wraps the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Gunner really didn't rat like 6 9 ratted. You get what I'm saying? Like, he didn't really... He accepted a plea deal in which he over, he, he should have plead out to the shit that he did. When they bought up somebody else's business, he should have said, I don't know. If this is what it takes for me to come home, maybe I'm not coming home today. I don't know. But was it public record, the shit that he said? YSL being a game and they committed gang and committing crimes? That's already public record. Before the whole Fulton County Jail screaming out slat. You get what I'm saying? The mother, even though the people from the label might not have been committing crimes, it's motherfuckers yelling YSL that have committed crimes and they are in jail. So with you having knowledge that you know a up went to jail and he from YSL and he was on some gang shit, it's not wrong because it's already public record. But for you to tell a DA that, that's not your friend. Like for him to tell me that, like, hey, you knew YSL was a gang though, right? You know what I'm saying? They was committing crimes before you even got into this shit. And he like, yeah, bro. That's a different, that's not your bro. So you can't tell the DA that. You can't, she can't ask you a question like that and you say, yes, ma'am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, fuck you, do your job. You do you know? Yeah, you can just tell her to do your job. You didn't have to speak on Gunna and, and the whole situation. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.